Hello, y'all. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm just going to get on here because I know a lot of people um, show you all how to do rolling trays, but they don't really just show you how to epoxy them so that the um, water marks or water look, looking streaks may be in the tray. Um, so I'm going to show you all how to do that. So with this particular tray, I did use the... Um, Avery's shipping label label paper. I use this paper here to do the tray, the lighter. Um, this is going to be the um, cap to the jar and then the ashtray. So now what I have here, I just have like a little small setup. I put um, because I've been messing up my table a lot. So this time I just um, I'm gonna use wax paper and I just put it on the bottom and I also have this mat that came with my uh, tumbler set which is a um, silicone mat I'm going to use those and we're going to start epoxying um, I would normally use a different epoxy but they was out um, a while back so this is the epoxy that I've been having and this is Art and Glow which I ordered off of Amazon I kind of like it a little only because I don't have to stir for 15 minutes. This uh, epoxy, you only stir for three to five minutes. So that's a good, that's a plus to me because time, my time. Okay, y'all. So don't forget to wear your gloves. You're supposed to wear a face mask or face covering too because you don't want to exhale it. Uh, And it gives you a 40 minute work time so I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring half and half I'm not gonna do much because I just have this tray and the little small pieces so I'm not gonna do much this um, I don't know if y'all could see the little cup but it's hard to see these the lines but this is a silicone cup which will make it easy, make it easier for me to clean once done. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull the the thinner one to me. I put, I'm gonna pull that one inside the um, other to mix. This um, silicone cup is good to use with epoxy. Anything that's silicone is good. It works well with epoxy, especially when trying to clean up. And then it's a way to save money instead of buying all of those uh, cups. So, see how the stuff just slide out? I don't really have to worry about it sticking. Okay, so now we're going to stir for about three minutes. I'll fast forward so y'all won't have to see me stare. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, I let the epoxy sit for a couple of minutes, trying to get some bubbles out of it um, because I did kind of stir a little fast. So I don't want it to have bubbles in it once I um, start. So let me see if I can draw some of the bubbles out of it. So I'm just using this heat gun to heat it up. And it's getting rid of some of the bubbles for me. And that heat gun gets pretty hot. And it was a lot of bubbles. It's not as many anymore. But um, what I do with the stick, y'all, if you didn't know, I just take the stick and kind of just use the stick um for the lighter because i don't like to not seal the lighter with anything so i like the lighter to look uniform with the other stuff so i seal my lighter with the epoxy from the stick if you want to you can just take your fingers and just take it and rub it on there
That way if somebody outside in the rain or whatever, their lighter won't get messed up. Okay. And I'm just putting a thin coat on with the, for the lighter. And then what I'll do is I'll take the lighter and I'm just going to stick it in this um, thing so it can sit up and dry. Okay, so I just bought that little styrofoam from um, from um, Dollar, Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we're going to start with the rolling tray. Okay, you can put it in the middle if you want. Or you can just start it at the top. Whichever way you prefer. And just let it run down. I don't have to epoxy the whole tray. Um, and I'm not going to put that much on here. But I don't have to do the whole tray. Because um, I didn't do a full picture. And I also did not paint the tray. And I didn't paint the tray because I made this tray exactly um, so it won't have to be painted. And y'all, this um, epoxy says that it is self uh, leveling, so it's supposed to level on its own. But I just want to make sure that each area is covered before I just leave it. So. And you don't need a lot of, um, of this mixture because the more you put, the longer it's going to take for it to dry. I don't even know if y'all could see what I'm doing. Just trying to fill in all the holes so it won't be nothing that's not um, covered. Some people use their hand. You can use your hand. You don't have to. You can just move it around like I'm doing. And so, and I'm trying not to let it fall off the tray. And it says, um, this also says that it's um you can do this for 40 minutes before this stuff starts to harden so that's a good thing however if i feel like it's not moving the way i want it to move i just put a little heat to it and it does wonders so So I tried to put mine in a line so if you can see it's falling back down in that line going across. And it's almost covered. It's almost covered. I got two little holes left and then it'll be covered. Oh, um, I forgot I didn't tell y'all a step that I did also to not get that little wet look. And I'll show y'all um, what I mean by wet look when I finish with this. Because I've done, like my first trays that i done, I'll show y'all what I mean. I'm trying to get this one little area covered and once I get that area covered 
it'll be okay. Oh. I'm trying to make sure the camera catching everything, and I'm about to waste the, because I didn't want it on the edges. Okay. So now I got everything covered, all the edges, all of, um, the picture. Everything is covered on this one. I'm just going to sit it to the side and I'll come back and let you all see that once it's dry in the lighter. Okay, so because I use that um, paper, you need to make sure that you smoothen whatever it is re down real good. Because if you don't, um, that's what causes the picture to start um, looking like it's watered up, watered down or something. But... So just eat, and even if you use the glue, you want to make sure that the picture is completely dry before you start to epoxy. So with this, you want to make sure with the sticker paper, you want to make sure that it's completely down. And with the glue, you want to make sure that it's completely dry and down both. So, so I just went in and rubbed it. You can use a squeegee or you can use, um, whatever you got i even sometimes use a towel just take a wet i mean not a wet towel sorry you'll mess up your print just take a, a dry towel just to help you smooth it out so that's ready we're gonna epoxy that and as i said this is a real small thing so we don't need much however i do want to get all around because i use the paint sealer but I don't know how that really works so I'm gonna make sure the inside of this is completely um, covered okay so we're just gonna go around this whole ashtray making sure that it's completely covered That way the uh, paint won't ship. So, and with the tray, if you want to, just like with this, you can just take your finger. This this is the last piece, so you could just take your finger and just go around the um, edges. And then it leaves like marks, so you want to make sure you go back over it, but just to make sure that you got everything, um, you can use your finger. And then for this one, I just kind of use my finger and put a little bit on there. But like I said, the more you use, the thicker it is, and the longer wait time it is to dry to me. I'm just going to go around the rim of the tray as well with it. Just because I have extra, I like to use it. Okay, so we're just going around the tray. Okay, that's done. And then I'm not going to pick that up. I'm just going to kind of go on the inside of it. I could pick it up by my little pinky finger. I'm just trying not to get the epoxy on the bottom of it because it don't have to be. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna take these gloves off. Oh, I have to set that. I need this to kind of dry by tomorrow. Um, afternoon so I can mail it off so I'm gonna put it under this little heating box that I make um, if y'all want to see that I can show it to you all okay this is just a little quick video just to show y'all the watermark looks that I'm talking about um, on the images so this is when I first started doing trays something that I just came up with and I just wanted to show you all the difference. That'll be all for this video. Thanks.